Hey, what's up, guys? This is a part two of uh, a HSS High Speed Steel M2 blade. Um, I just made in made a bevel and sharpened it with the Japanese Kingston, and uh, I had experience a uh, long time ago with the uh, High Speed Steel uh, with the M2. Oh, I I don't think it was M2. It was different kind of a uh, High Speed Steel and it was so hard that I could not sharpen with any of the equipment I had you know back in the times I had um, sandpapers and Japanese word stones but they didn't work for that specific high speed steels you know that steel only dug these stones so it won't sharpen now in this case it's M2 high speed steel it sharpens great just fine with a uh, Japanese word stone uh, but it takes time, okay? I sharpened this knife for about 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, that's like two to, to you know, three times more than all one. Okay, so it takes a long time to sharpen to get to the laser edge, but it will stay longer also. So whether it's a high carbon steel, uh, you can sharpen very easily with a any type of water stones or any type of stones available in, in the market. But and you can get very sharp and with a very easy uh, of sharpening, and it will hold an edge very well. But uh, not as long as these kind of uh, high speed steel. But uh, with these uh, high speed steels, it's really really hard to sharpen. But once you get to the uh, fine edge, they will stay longer, stay longer, and you know just um, they will just get longer. So whether it's really hard to sharpen one set of time but holds an edge but uh, it's hard, hard to sharpen but other carbon steels like you know on the market are relatively easy to sharpen and stays an edge pretty well so it's your choice uh, whether you get what steels you can have okay I don't think uh, any any leather tool makers uh, make the their knives with the M2 steel because M4 is really popular among knife community so M2 is not really you know on the production but this one I got from uh, to the person who makes knives out of a saw blade so you know I was kind of lucky to have him around here yeah and they I took this knife to the professional you know uh, professional how to say knife sharpener and then uh, he made this bevel and then he sent it to me and I I actually sharpen to the edge to the point that it can cut things right so it's very sharp it's wicked sharp you know it's so sharp sharp that I'm really amazed how it cuts okay I'll show you guys how it cuts now I'll just take the tip and just push okay can you guys see I'm just Viveling, edging the leather by just gently pushing knife into the leather block. See that? It cuts very effortlessly, right? To the Very sharp. It has no resist. Okay. sharp is it's very sharp you know it's a razor razor sharp I will just uh, make cutting demo oops
very sharp. Okay. I made this as a pairing knife, so I'm going to pair this knife, you know, use this as a pairing knife. I don't have glass plate on the hand right now, so I can't really show you how to um, pair the knife, but I will make a whole series of a video how to do things, okay? Right now, these are the times that I show you what tools I have and what the features are and what the benefits and whether it's um, you know worth it or what's the good points or bad points about it you know to, I'll make the uh, my channel as leather re tool review videos and then I'm going to uh, make channel second channel or in this channel I'm going to uh, show you uh, how to do things you know how to do a saddle stitch how to, to how to pair um, how to pair leather and uh, what to uh, what to look for tools and all that okay so uh, guys after I review all of my leather tools I'm going to do um, how to do videos and then I'm going to you know just you know make a series of videos that um, how to show you how to do things and then you can make your own project and uh, you'll be, you know, it'll be so much fun. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys other other uh, high speed steel tools. Uh, this is paring knife, a uh, flat one. Uh, this one is a little bit thinner than I got. This one is 2.5 mil thick. This is 2, 2.0 millimeter thick. And by the way, the color, I asked, acid etched uh, these knives, you know, um, high speed steels are also a high carbon steel, they are easy to rust. So I uh, acid etched my knives all the way, both sides, and I wrapped the leather handle. It's a split leather, so it's not, you know, it's just decent leather. Um, split you know I just wanted to you know, wrap any, any wrap with any uh, leather it's fine you know and uh, anyway it's a um, etch so it, it stays away from the rust and I see there's a uh, titanium nitride coating has been you know damaged by some of the acid I have uh, but it's okay it's just one I it, it I was going to remove it as wears down you know but this one has no coating on it. Uh, it's just uh, I guess dodge as acid etched only from this portion to all the way to back from here to here because I sharpened this side and sharpen I'm going to sharpen this side so I thought it would be you know just stay away from the uh, use usage portion you know just making other other parts all acid etched a little bit you know see this angle is too high for the paring knife it needs to be you know at least 13 to 12 degree possibly 10 to 11 degrees to be a good paring knife this one tends to be a 11.5 to 12 degree cut a angle um, so it cuts very well uh, to uh, per, uh, serve as a paring knife but this one is about 25 degree um, this comes like this from the seller so I'm, I'm going to make the um, edge more low so that it has more you know bevel here so that it slides better now it's not it's not a good edge it's not a it's not sharp yeah it's not sharp right now um, I need to sharpen it you know to get this perfect lined bevel if you are if you are really good with your hands and you're experienced man you can just manually sharpen on a water stone or sandpaper so that you can you have a dead flat lines here but mostly time if as the uh, the width is longer this harder to be straight you know okay uh, when you sharpen you know the uh, blade like this you go like that or you know any any other holding motion you you get different pressure from to here to here so 
this will gradually become you know diagonal or just just wavy pattern to it so in order to get a straight bevel line like this you need to have a, a sharpening zig uh, a zig for you know holding the whole uh, the blade and you can you can just sharpen it with the exactly same angle every time with the you know good pressure evenly okay so I probably I'm going to you know get some zig to make the um, bevel just flat as possible because I like to look the the look of the bevel is straight as possible you know alright it was the high speed steel tool he treated this one is Rockwell scale uh, is about um, 62 HRC uh, this one is about um, 65 HRC which is more hard you know robust steel uh, it's a different steel this one is M2 and this one is I don't know exactly the sellers couldn't find out what the uh, steel they're using uh, it they told me it, it is a high-speed steel but they don't exactly sure what kind it's funny but um, I got that so I I I do think this is high-speed steel so I don't blame I mean I don't you know suspect them to you know lying to me but uh, I, I really want to find out what steel these are possibly M2 because it's a common steel for a high-speed steel but you never know but um, it has a good wear resistance as well right I need to flatten this bottom too yeah all right that was part two of high speed steel paring knife I'm going to wrap the leather handle also for this one uh, after sharpening you know, don't wrap the uh, leather handle on your knives uh, especially for like this kind before sharpening okay if you sharpen your knife the the uh, particles of metal just will come off and it will wet the leather and it will just darken become spotty and it's it looks very dirty and the leather soaks up the water and it, it will hold the uh, moisture so it will you will just rust the knives so after you sharpen the blade and you just remove all the axis you know dirty stuff off your blade and then you can just dry your knife and then you can just wrap your handle in clean leather like this and then you you, you can it will become dirty but uh, not as dirty as what it will be if you just put the leather handle and sharpen the knife all right okay that's about it and I hope you enjoyed the knives I hope you enjoyed the videos and if you want to support me please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel okay thanks for watching and I will see you guys in next time bye bye